Good morning and welcome to AP Tech Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a printer print management uh, role in your server and uh, then deploy it to your uh, network users. Uh, first, there is two steps involved in this process. One is the preparation of the printer. If you just purchase it for the first time, if you have it running in your network, it's fine. It's still the same. Uh, you need to know the IP address assigned to it. Another step will be to prepare uh, the server uh, for uh, this uh, process. So I'm just going to be uh, stopping the video as I go so I can illustrate each step of the way. First, let's, uh, let's prepare the printer for that. If you know the IP address of the printer, it's fine. If you don't, I recommend using this uh, little utility here. Uh, you don't need to install it. There's two options. You'll see it now. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. Um, and I will provide the link to uh, download this utility. You right click on it and run as administrator. Okay, it's fine. Click OK. And it, this is uh, th two options either you install it or you run it. I usually run it, no need to install it. And uh, here on the first on the uh, first part here, if you see that the IP address uh, it will immediately recognize your network segment, which is this one here my network segment. If it doesn't, if you have a different network IP, then enter the IP here, uh, ending in 1, and then dash 254. Okay, that's how you do it. Just click uh, scan, and I'm going to pause the video now. Okay, as you can see there, uh, the uh, printer was discovered, which is this one here. All right, it has IP 223. Uh, you can click here on this uh, link, uh, but it's better you don't. I will use uh, another interface, uh, just log into a different computer, and I'm going to navigate to the printer. Okay, so i uh, just, just going to enter the uh, IP address of the printer, 168.1.223, okay. and here I will configure uh, the printer to uh, have a static IP. Um, I will log in to the printer, and what's uh, I'm there. I'm just going to go to the configuration. I'm going to go to IPv4, network IPv4. Your printer might be different, but this uh, this uh, configuration is usually under network configuration. And then, uh, as you can see here, that's the name that I provided, the IP address, which um, I just uh, selected um, like static, right? So um, the net, net mask, okay. Um, and then here, uh, this is a default gateway mm, address, uh, which I will need to change it to one because it's actually that's the default uh, gateway. That's the uh, router uh, IP, and that's the DNS server in my network. And this is the Google DNS, which I just throw it in there just in case. Okay, but you don't need to. Anyway, um, so the most important thing here now is that the IP address of the printer that you set it as static. Why? Because if you change it to dynamic, then every time uh, the printer reboots, it can get a different IP address and then you're in trouble. Uh, so set up static IP, click OK. And then I'm just going to close this interface because I no longer need it. And then uh, I already prepared the printer for this. Uh, I'm going back to the server. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to now prepare the uh, print management uh, role. I, I have it already installed previously, but I'm going to show you how to. Click on um, Server Manager, navigate to um, Add Role and Features, and then here click on the first one, Role Based and Feature, click Next. And as you can see here, I already have it installed, but you probably won't. So check that, and then uh, in the next screen, select Print Server. That's it, that's all you need and then click next and continue. I'm just cancel cancel it out because I already have it installed. So um, going back to the print management, so click on start, go to um, all programs, um, administrative uh, tools, and navigate to print management. Let's find it here. Where are you? Right there. Uh, I'm very fond of uh, shortcuts, so I just right-clicked on it and then uh, put it uh, put a shortcut in in 
in my taskbar here down here. So click on, on the taskbar and navigate when you come here this is what you're gonna see exactly what you're gonna see okay so um, then do uh, you can uh, expand uh, so that's the name of my server the domain controller this is what I'm going to install the printer you can have a dedicated server just for this uh, it's called print server and just a standalone server and you know uh, join it to the network and then uh, install this uh, service in there if your network is it's large if it's a small network it's uh, it's an overkill so you better know so I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna add a printer okay um, add a printer TCP IP okay so next step is gonna ask me for the IP address and if you remember it's 192.168.1.223 okay and I'm gonna tell them how to detect the printer drivers to use okay that's one of the good things that uh, Windows Server 2012 and other uh, servers out there have uh, which is will detect the drivers so you don't need to install them um, most of the time so click next wait a few seconds and uh, install a new driver okay click next and then it's gonna ask you where are the drivers in my case I downloaded them to a local drive I'm just gonna say I have the disk okay just going to browse to the drivers so it will prompt me for the disks that came with the printer I already downloaded them from uh, the web from the uh, Rico uh, website support website I downloaded the drivers for this printer and then I'm gonna tell uh, that I have the disks and I'm going to navigate to uh, that location um, which is on my documents printer Rico disk one and then uh, this guy here and then I'm gonna click OK and I have two options here I'm just gonna hold, go install the universal one alright so click uh, next and this is very important because this is how uh, you can yeah, identify the printer in the network I'm just gonna call it um, I'm sorry this is the printer that's gonna show here I'm just gonna call it Rico and then SL 36 uh, something I think that was the name okay 3600 and this is what it's gonna show in the network okay I'm just gonna call it Rico same name um, SL 3600 um, the location if you have more than one printer is usually to identify the location I only have one here uh, but I'm gonna say uh, front desk okay this uh, this is the location and I'm gonna click next uh, next and uh, the, the server uh, manager is going to install this printer in uh, in here so I have two options now either to print the tests which I normally do or add another printer I'm not going to do any of the two so I'm just gonna finish but you can do that so as you can see the printer is already installed let's look at the properties of the printer in going to the port as you can see here this printer is located in port 223 alright you see there port 223 that's very important okay now when it comes to sharing this is a very good uh, uh, an important uh, uh, feature uh, just list in directory okay what's gonna do is kinda list it in active directory as an object and you will be able to see it and quickly in the uh, in the network I'm just gonna show you now with a client okay click apply click OK and that's it you're ready to go I'm just gonna stop now and navigate to a user computer okay I'm now on a Windows 10 computer uh, in the network uh, this computer is part of my network as you can see I'm just gonna show you my PC if you go into the property uh, you'll see it's part of my domain it's called PC one lab local okay and I'm going to show you how to uh, attack um, add a printer here to this particular user uh, this is a manual process but always you can always uh, this is usually for a, a small environment like 10 users 15 users 20 users the most you can send an email out with instructions on how to install it and users will be able to do it um, uh, themselves um, there's another way as I mentioned in the big beginning of the uh, of the uh, video to deploy it um, via uh, group policy um, management but um, I will not uh, that will be a part of the second video okay so I'll click on start and then uh, print 
and scanners and navigate to um, add a printer here on top and wait you'll see there hmm look what happened it discovered my printer so I'm just gonna go ahead and add device and it will be successfully installed in a few seconds as you can see there it is now installing okay I'm just gonna pause the video now I'm gonna show you the same process in Windows 7 I'm now sitting on a Windows 7 machine uh, as you can see there it's a uh, it's a Windows 7 okay. Windows 7 Pro machine I'm just gonna click uh, I'm gonna go here and devices and printer click on devices and printer and then uh, when you come here add a printer and it's gonna ask you a local printer or a network printer I'm just gonna say add a network printer and voila it's right there the Rico the and you click uh, click on it just click next it's connecting to the um, print management service and it's going to install the printer just download the driver this is uh, the way I've uh, been installed the printer in uh, in small environments and it's very um, um, it's very uh, convenient uh, and this is the end of the video I'm just going back to the print management uh, this is the end of the video if you liked it just click on the like button uh, and subscribe to my channel also if you have any questions uh, just post it here and I will address it accordingly thank you and have yourself a great day